What is up everybody? I'm Brandon from Tattooing 101 and make sure if you like content like this and you're aspiring tattoo artists, you like and subscribe down below and hit that little bell notification so you can be updated whenever we come out with new content for you guys each week. So with that being said, we're going to jump into what we're going to talk about and show you this week, which is how to appropriately draw flames and smoke with your designs to be able to create different designs, fill in areas if you're doing a sleeve or create flow with your designs. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw flames. There's a couple different ways I do this, and there's a couple different styles out there to be able to draw flames in. Obviously, if you're going to more of a realistic style, you're going to use actual flames. This one, I'm going to show you how I draw flames and also some smoke. I kind of use the same steps to do both, so this is how I do it. I figured the best way to show you would be on a candle, you know, a candle burning from both sides. I've tattooed this quite a few times, so I have an understanding. It's pretty easy to get the hang of it once you're working on something like this. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to think about is the brushes that you have. Obviously, some of the people out there will use different brushes depending on what you're doing. I like to use murder weapons because it comes with a particle smoke set right here and sometimes I'll use this for smoke sometimes I'll use it for flames fire things like that but it works really well so I'm going to use the particle smoke six right here and what this does is make it it makes it really easy to get the flames kind of set up like this as you could see you could just go through here and just depending on how hard you press the thicker it'll be. So you can make some really nice flow with your designs with this brush. So I like to use that. Obviously, you could use a regular brush or a regular pencil and do this. It's just easier with this, I see. So if you wanted to get into that, you know, I definitely recommend you pick up that set. It just makes things easier, but you could also do it with a regular pencil. Just takes more time because for every time I'm doing, you know, this, it's going to be two lines instead of just one, and you have to kind of gauge how thick you want it to be, things like that. So let's get into it. So you want to think about where it's at on the body. So let's say this is on the arm. So we're going to work in a natural S shape. Let's just draw these in there. We'll use it with red on a different layer. So right like this. So this is what's going to flow really nicely to the body, right? So now we could turn down the opacity like this and work on sketching in our smoke. So I'm going to turn this down really light. I don't want it to be overpowering so you can see it's, you're still going to be able to see the line work through it. So now I'm just going to work around and see how I kind of want the flames to be. I'm going to start it out like this. Start now with my circles around this area right here. And then from there, with this design, I kind of want it to come around and connect. So kind of like that. I like that. And we could add some detailed lines to the flames like this. And add some up here. So the biggest thing with this, you're just trying to get a natural flow for this design with the flames that we're kind of drawing. With this step, we're just kind of looking for what looks natural, you know, what will flow right with the body. All those things come into play whenever you are working on these designs. And then you could add little areas to where you want it to come out a little bit. Let's say you want to add an extra lay, an extra area right over here, but you don't want it to be too overpowering. So you just add a little mark right there and you could build up on these. So obviously the more I go over it, the darker it'll be. And you could just play around with it. That's why I like these brushes, I could work around and see what looks best for the actual design. So not a big fan of these areas up here. So what I'm going to do is just take this part out and see what else I could do up here. Kind of want it to flow with that mark right there. So it'll come out around like that. Have this part a little bit thicker like that. So that kind of flows better with the body and it still comes naturally like this. So when this comes around, this bottom one right here will still come this way. So I'm gonna change this bottom area too and have it kind of just work back around. 
to get that natural flow with the body. Okay, cool. So now we could work on the actual flame part. So what I'm gonna do here is just make it really, really light and work on our final outline. So this, this is when we're gonna go in and see exactly where all the flame parts are going to be. And this is gonna be pretty much our final stencil for the design. So we could go through and add some really nice detail. You see how I didn't do a straight line? You know, fire really has some nice flow to it. So you don't wanna to be too perfect with it or it just won't look natural. So you could use your imagination when it comes to these areas just to get the flow you need and to have it look cool with your design. But I'm still following the natural flow that I already got going. You know, I'm not changing up the design completely. I'm just going with what I kind of did and having the structure there. That makes things a whole lot easier because I know exactly what to follow. I could just go through and do, you know, my little designs to it to make it look more, just to make it look cooler. So right here, I could do a little break. Have some skin tone showing through right there. Awesome, and then we could just go through and finish up our line work for the candle. And don't forget the top part. And there we go. That's how I draw flames. I'll show you quickly exactly how I would do the smoke part. Obviously with this design, this outline I only put here as a reference. I would actually go in and do the candle in a black outline and do the red for the fire outline. But what the way I do smoke is, let's say it's the exact same design, but I wanna do smoke like it's blown out instead of actual fire. So I'll go through and use one of the same brushes we just used. Let's use Particle Smoke 4. So smoke will flow really nicely the same with like the neo-traditional designs. Obviously if you're wanting to do more traditional smoke, I mean more traditional fire, it's super easy. All you got to do is, you know, basically just start it small and then taper down to bigger or taper up to smaller and that's how you do simple easy traditional flames you know you start out here and just have a little bit of flow to them so they're going one kind of natural direction and have them different sizes and you can make really easy flames that way and then just have them connect being thicker in some areas right like that but for smoke it's a little bit differently so the way that i actually do the smoke is pretty much the same but the way that it's done in the actual tattoo is completely different so i'll go through here and let's say this is a blown out candle so instead of the flames i'm not going to have kind of this flame part come up but i am going to have the wispiness of it still connecting so i'm just going to have it come up this way on a different layer we'll have it start right here And it's still going with the natural flow of the body. So we're still kind of sticking with that kind of same plan, but it's just going to be done differently for the actual tattoo. With smoke, you know, you could have some areas to where it's not 100% connected right here. So you could add that little area and it'll look good. And another thing I like to do is with smoke, I'll have some of it go in the background instead of up front. So this little area of smoke will be completely in the background of the actual candle and everything else will be up front. So just showing some depth to your designs will help out a ton when it comes to working with smoke and even sometimes with flames. So this is the basic design I have for the smoke and then you could turn down the opacity. So the difference would be I'll still outline this and use it as my stencil but it's going to be completely opposite from the flames. So with the flames, you're going to red outline it and then fill it in with, you know, your reds, oranges, and everything to make it look like flames. But with this, 
it's going to be negative. So any area that is actually filled in right here is going to be skin tone. The shading is going to be on the outside of these shade marks. So everything's going to be shaded around it and on the inside right here, but not over top of this. This is going to be skin tone. And that's what's going to make the smoke effect. So everything that you're doing on your stencil, let's say we go through here and turn down the opacity and on another layer, we're going to outline the smoke with our regular pencil so we could actually make it into a stencil. So we're going to go through here, you know, outline our smoke. Just having it, you know, have some nice flow to it, all that stuff. And then whenever we go to tattoo this, we're not going to outline this. This is all just for reference. We're going to use our mag and then just go off of this line and just shade this way the whole way around. And then we're going to shade on the inside of this. So all of these areas will be shaded. You know, even behind here, this will shade back here, here. And it's a really good way to pull a piece together and have some of a tattoo fill in another area. So if you're working on a sleeve and you want something to fill it in, smoke is a great way to do that. I've done it on plenty of sleeves. It looks really, really cool. I've done a Viking sleeve to where um, I kind of connected everything together with little rune pieces and smoke going the whole way through it. And it looked really awesome and planning that way so you could have some of the smoke going to behind your design some of it going in front will help the depth of your tattoos a ton and make for great designs also one of the biggest struggles i had when i first started out was not only drawing but being able to do perfect line work so it's really important to learn your line work before jumping into trying to do shading all of these things the best thing you could do for that is check out our line work secrets all you have to do is click the link in the description below type in some information and we'll send you a free copy straight to your email. So definitely check that out. I hope it's able to help you guys along your journey of being a tattoo artist. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you on the next video. You have a wonderful day.